In this video, I'm going to talk about how to draw uh, ray diagrams for concave mirrors. So I have three different setups here because there's three cases. So for each case, I need to define the focal point. That's the location where parallel light rays will meet, as you saw in the lab. So I'm going to just draw a script F for the focal point right here. Um, and again, you can find the focal point of a mirror by shining the parallel light rays and finding where they meet. Um, at any rate, I'm going to draw the first case, uh, an object that's inside the focal point right here. Okay, so that's some object. So you have to draw two rays to determine where the image is. Okay, so first one is a light ray that's parallel to the principal axis. And this, this line right here, P, is called the principal axis. It's the axis that goes to the focal point and is uh, goes right to the mirror at the diameter of the mirror. So I'm going to draw this first light ray that hits the mirror and because it's parallel to the principal axis it's going to go through the focal point. Okay, that's a reflected ray. And then I'm going to draw a second ray that hits the mirror at where the principal axis meets which is normal to the mirror and it's going to bounce off at a wider angle like that and if you look at the angle between these two lines they're, they're never going to meet so what I have to do or your, where your brain thinks they're coming from is I'm going to trace back the reflected rays like this and where they meet is where your eye thinks they come from. It thinks there's a source here and the light rays are coming straight down here and straight down here and that's what it sees. So what you see is a larger image. It's magnified. So when you go to the mirror in the classroom and look at the, the convex mirror and put your face within the focal point you're going to see a larger image. So that's case number one. Case number two is if you put your self or an object outside the focal point. I'll say over here. So same thing, we're going to draw a light ray that's parallel to the principal axis and it's going to go through the focal point because that's the definition of the focal point. And then we're going to draw a light ray that hits the mirror at the principal axis right here and bounces off. And you'll notice that these light rays meet here on this side of the mirror, same side of the mirror, and if I draw an arrow, an upside down arrow, you see the arrow here right here, it's actually upside down and it's smaller. This is larger. That's why when you stand far away from a convex mirror or look in a spoon, let's say at home, your image appears upside down if it's farther away. The third case is where I put the object at the focal point. And if I put my object at the focal point, same thing, I draw a light ray that hits the mirror and goes to the focal point. Oops, goes through the focal point itself. And then I'll draw another line that hits the mirror at the principal axis point and bounces off. And just so happens for these two and all rays, they're going to be parallel. These light rays never meet, whether if I extend them down here or if I extend them backwards, they're never going to meet they're parallel. Since they're parallel, no image is formed. That's why when you look at a convex mirror, when you're at the focal point, you see a blurry image. You just, your eye just sees tons of light rays, but none of them meet to form any kind of image. Uh, some, so that's the third case, at the focal point. And there's some terms here. When reflected, the when the, the tracings back or the extensions of the reflected rays meet, not the actual reflected rays themselves, when the extensions of them meet, this image is called a virtual image. Virtual because it's in the mirror. You can't actually touch it. Um, this image right here, since it's actually formed by reflected rays and they actually meet, not their extensions, that's called a real image. In other words, you could put an uh, index card there and put the image on the card. And here, 
since they never meet you have no image. So a virtual image when the extensions of the light rays meet, a real image when the reflected rays themselves meet, not their extensions. In fact, if you trace back the extensions, they, they will never meet. And then finally, we have no image. So those are the three cases for drawing a concave mirror ray diagram.